Good day, my brother and sister, and welcome to the edition. Brothers and sisters, today I want to give a word with regards to a part of the journey that a lot of us go through. Honestly, I think all of us go through this part of the journey um, on our journey with the Lord. And I've seen quite a few comments um, where people are going through this. So I thought, hey, let me release this word because this helped me when I was going through that part of the journey. Okay. This part of the journey is where, you know, God has given you the dream, the vision, or you've received the prophecy over your life. And this beautiful, most of the time, is a beautiful prophecy over your life. And you're at this part where you're like, Tato, I'm not hearing anything from God with regards to this. Um, I got this dream that I'm going to be this or this is going to happen, but it, it's, there's radio silence radio silence from the lord and i really don't know what to do with regards to this um i hope that this word will help you to get out of that moment that gilgal moment i hope you that it will help you navigate that moment in the mighty name of jesus all right so we are going to have a mental exercise here uh, i love these visual representations this uh, is the best and simple way for me to put it across and here I want you to imagine that you are going on a journey. So you're going from point A to point Z. And what you do is you take your GPS and you plug in the location, right? Um, you plug in the location and the GPS that's instructing you how to get to this location. Now, in this scenario, um, the location is the, the, the vision and the dream. Just the same way as um, Joseph had the dream. Uh, of his brow brothers bowing down to him. God was giving him the, the final outcome of that leg of the journey. Now, when you plug in the location in your GPS, I liken this to you receiving that prophecy, receiving that dream and vision. Why? Because not every prophecy or dream do we receive you right. So when you plug in that the, uh, that location into the GPS, you are saying, God, I will go on this journey with you. Direct me in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, the Bible says the steps of a righteous person are ordered by God. So you doing that is saying, I am I am here. You showed me where I'm going. I am going on this journey with me. Direct my path in the name of Jesus. Cool. Now, as long as you are moving, what happens is God will give you the steps, give you the directions. The GPS will continue to talk. But the important thing is that um, the GPS will tell you before you get to an event you, or so a, a, a location where you should go. So if you are about to approach an intersection, it will tell you at this intersection in this distance, do this. At the roundabout in 300 meters, take the second exit, right? That's the same as um, when you are on the journey with the Lord. The Bible says that I tell you these things before they happen so that when they do happen, you can believe and get to rely on me. So if you are on this journey, I mean, this is a foreign place. Imagine you are in a place that you absolutely cannot even... Um, You've never been there. It's, it's a completely foreign territory. You are relying on this GPS to, 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 to help you navigate your way to the final destination. But the GPS has to tell you uh, before the, 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 this particular location what you're going to do. That is what God does. God tells you that there is going to be a roundabout ahead. At that roundabout, um, it's going to be in 300 meters at the roundabout to take the second exit. So what happens when you are relying on this GPS? Because you couldn't have ever known that there's going to be a roundabout. When you do see the roundabout and you see it at the location where it, it, the GPS said it's going to do, oh, sorry, it's going to be, what, do you, what does that do? That makes you believe in the GPS, the accuracy of the GPS, right? And not only that, it, it helps you to reaffirm and, and and rely on it even further. You know that this GPS is accurate. And as such, um, any other instruction that it gives me, I will uh, rely on. I will follow because I have 
prior evidence. I have prior uh, experience with it, where it led me and everything that it said came to pass. That's the Bible. Now, uh, there's different scenarios. There are times when on the journey, you know, the GPS will say at the next T-junction, turn left. And I don't know why you would turn um, right. Sometimes we uh, interpret the dreams wrong. Sometimes maybe I was talking with somebody in the car and I missed that turn. So I tend, I take a different turn. Um, what happens in that scenario is that um, where, for example, you've interpreted something that was said wrong, um, the GPS can do one of two things. It can either re, uh, re recalculate the journey and find a route that, um, that will take you to the same location, but a different one. Or maybe it tells you to turn around and uh, go back to that place where you made the, the, the mistake and, and, and go and take the right turn there. And sometimes the destruction may be, I don't know, you know, along the journey you met somebody and you got, you know, sidetracked and you just kind of put that, that, that listening to God on, on the back banner kind of thing. Or the, or the enemy just starts to play tricks on you. They may be they may be different reasons why you took the wrong turn, but God, as long as you are on the journey with Him, He will uh, take actions to ensure that you end up at the at the right location. But the only difference with this is that it now increases the time for you to get there. Remember that the Israelites, the Israelites took uh, 40, 40 years on what was meant to be 11 year journey because of disobedience. It, at this point in, in this video, I'm not focusing on the reason why you, you, you were disobedient to the instruction. The fact of the matter is if you continue on the journey with the Lord, he will continue to direct you. Another thing that happens is that you can decide to stop. You know, when you stop on the journey to this place, um, what then happens is that the GPS stops talking until you make the next turn. So the GPS would have said, at that uh, intersection, do this. And you have stopped, you haven't moved until you take that action, until you make that move. The GPS cannot give you the next one because it needs to know what you do at that place in order to give you the next uh, move in the mighty name of Jesus. And then sometimes what happens is that, you know, God would have given us the, the big picture, would have given us this big, for example, you had a dream that you were the president of the country. Have you ever when you are looking at the map, right? And and you, it's, you're vaguely familiar with the place where you are going. You, 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 you kind of zoom in, zoom out, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way, right? You have a vague idea of how to get there. Then along the journey, you decide, you know what? I'm tired of listening to this voice. You switch off the GPS and you decide to navigate your way to the place on your own. Uh, that's like taking it, doing it by your own might, by your own strength. You switch off the voice. You don't want to listen to God. You just know, God said, I'm going to be the president of the country. You start now reading every single book that every person, presidential candidate um, wrote. You start watching every YouTube video regarding how to be this, how to be that. So you've switched off the voice of God and you are saying, this is where God said I'm going to get to. And you are looking for each and every other source but him to direct you and to order your steps. Um, this is another reason why we can get lost along the journey to the destination. And then sometimes what happens, even if it's not completely switching off, you know, there are times when we switch off that, that voice because we want to listen to music. We want to, to sing along to music. So you're like, ah, 
this voice uh, let me just reduce it because i'm in the moment or i'm having a good conversation with the people in the car this thing is just making noise for me sometimes we do that and we clutter our 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 mind and our spirit with the noise of the world such that we don't even get to hear the instructions as and when they are coming along but as long as you are given the instruction god will wait on you to make a move for him to be able to give you the next instruction um, i hope this helps i hope that this helps you guys i hope that this uh, video um, gives you clarity and you can just go to God and you say to God, God, where have I missed it? God, where have I, um, what did I do to um, misalign with your instructions? Where have I taken the wrong turn? Where have I um, not heard you clearly? And say, God, I, uh, I, I want to go continue on this journey with you. I want to continue on this journey with you. Uh, brothers and sisters, I hope that this word blesses you and that, um, you know, it will help you to get out of that part of your season uh, of the journey with the Lord. Uh, all these things I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.